Aloha, George Kuski here with Honolulu High Five. I have clients that ask, can we buy our next home subject to the sale of our existing home? And uh, those are clients that already have a home and have a need to move because they need more space or a different neighborhood or something like this. And they do not have sufficient cash or have the um, ability to comfortably uh, qualify and uh, carry two mortgages at the same time. Now, if this is you, then listen up. We're going to discuss two strategies and come to a conclusion on which strategy is the better way to make this type of sideways move in the market. Strategy number one, buy before you sell. And that's usually not working out that well. Now, um, I hear quite often buyers might say, well, we just want to look around. And once we see the right house, that's when we want to make an offer subject to the sale of our existing home. The dilemma is this. Your existing home, we don't have a buyer for it yet. Your existing home is not even on the market and your existing home may not even show well enough to show it to anybody uh, and try to get them excited to make an offer on it at top dollars. So, uh, but besides that, there's one more thing. Uh, most sellers are simply not interested in you tying up their property and then having to wait until you get uh, around to um, selling your house successfully to uh, a buyer that we need to find. Um, now there's a few exceptions and maybe there are a few sellers that might actually be patient enough and hang in, and hang in there until uh, we sell your house. Uh, but those sellers usually have two requirements. Uh, number one, uh, they are only interested to wait around uh, if you pay them top dollar. And uh, number two, um, they would require a 72-hour kickout clause. Now, what's that? 72-hour kickout clause is a provision in the contract that allows the seller to continue marketing their property to generate additional offers. And if the seller gets a better offer, either a higher price or better terms, then the seller will give you 72 hours to remove your home sale contingency. Now, good luck with removing your home sale contingency within 72 hours. If you cannot do that, then our seller is, uh, the seller is going to sell the house to the next buyer and we lost out. So you can see that the strategy of buy before sell has, has a number of drawbacks. And there's two real important ones. The obvious ones are, it puts you in a very weak negotiation position on the buy side. You're at the mercy of the seller and the kickout clause, uh, if it comes to that. And uh, furthermore, it puts you in a very weak negotiation position on the sales side because you have tremendous time pressure to hurry up and sell your house to, you know, to, to find the right buyer that hopefully pays uh, an acceptable price. So um, this strategy is flawed from the get-go and it's like pushing on a string. Um, so may I suggest the much better approach, which is um, strategy number two, which is sell before you buy. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, we don't want to be out in the street having sold our house and not knowing what to move to. That's why it is key to pay careful attention to how we structure both transactions. Step number one, prepare your current home to be able to sell at top dollar. Now what we're going to do is we're going to unclutter it, we're going to clean it, we complete any needed repairs um, at, uh, 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 we've got to make sure they're cost effective and we might do some cosmetic upgrades that will make your home look the very best. We might do some staging. Uh, we're aiming for mass curb appeal combined with maximum marketing exposure uh, to attract a large number of qualified, willing and able buyers to fall in love with your house and pay you the highest possible price that the market could bear. That's our goal. Uh, now, by the way, it's okay for you to look around and see what homes are currently available on the market. I want you to get inspired. Now, keep in mind that some of the homes may long be sold by the time we have a ready and willing and able buyer 
uh, that is uh, um, uh, ready to purchase your home. So, but it's good to get inspired. So there, there'll be more homes available by the time we're ready. Our current focus is to get you top dollar for your, for your existing home. Step number two. Once we have identified the right buyer that is willing and able to pay you top dollar, somebody that really truly likes your home for what it is, uh, then we have to make sure we put two important special terms in, in the, into the purchase contract. This is important. Number one, uh, this contract to sell your current home is contingent on an accepted purchase contract on a suitable replacement property within seven days of the acceptance date of this current contract on your home to sell. Number one, we'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, number two, you reserve the right to occupy your current home for up to three days beyond the closing date. And this way we can, uh, we can move on the closing date into your new home and still have a couple days of cleaning, uh, carpet, uh, carpet shampooing and so on. Now, otherwise, if we don't put that in, you may have to move into a hotel for a night um, because you don't get to move into the new home. Um, and your stuff might be in a moving truck. So uh, this is uh, uh, kind of messy. So we got to have that provision in there as well. So we have two provisions. And uh, I have negotiated successfully these, t these two provisions in sales contracts in these type of um, sell and buy uh, transactions. I've done it many times and most buyers are willing, uh, most buyers of your existing home are willing to hang in there for a little bit and put up with those two provisions, provided they emotionally excited about purchasing your home. Step number three, once we have an accepted sales contract on your existing property with those two very important provisions uh, built in the contract, then we will aggressively explore all options uh, available in today's marketplace uh, for a suitable replacement property. Now, let me assure you, we can accomplish to look at any and all suitable replacement properties that fit your criteria as far as price, condition, neighborhood, and so on. We can do this within two days if we focus on it. And within another two days, we probably might be in escrow. Uh, that's the goal, and I've done it uh, before, and I think we can do it again. Um, so hopefully we can be an ESCO on a suitable replacement property within seven days um, of the acceptance date. Now, here are a few scenarios that can happen in the order of desirability. Number one, we enter into an accepted purchase contract on your replacement home, uh, and then we got to put... Uh, a special term in there, we got to make it contingent on the simultaneous recordation with your current home. And because your current home is already in escrow and scheduled to record soon, you have the very strongest negotiation strength and uh, you look golden to the seller. Um, seller would be delighted to accept your contract because you're already in escrow and you have a definitive uh, closing date and um, there should be no kickout clause. So uh, that's number one, uh, best case scenario. Now, um, second best case scenario, we identified a replacement property and we've been negotiating uh, with that, um, with that uh, seller on, on the replacement uh, property and, and somehow it takes a little longer and we couldn't secure it uh, within the seven days, uh, within the seven day contingency time period. So, we could possibly negotiate an extension to those seven days with the current buyer of your current home. And I've done that successfully, um, but not for very much longer. So maybe a few more extra days the buyer is willing to wait. Uh, if it gets beyond 10 or 14 days, most buyers go like, mm, maybe this is not the, right, not the right house. So we need to really get it done. Um, another... Um, um, a scenario that could happen is uh, if we could not succeed and uh, find a desirable replacement pro pro uh, property, a, a desirable and suitable replacement home for you, then uh, you could just cancel the uh, contract to sell and we're back at square one. You still have your home, you're not out in the street 
and we continue to market the property uh, to the next buyer and and uh, do it again so that's another option you have not sold your house yet now there's one more option that you have available let's say we really couldn't find a suitable refreshment property we saw several but none of them were really right or we missed out um, then um, you do have the option to still move forward with the sale of your existing home uh, if you are inclined to do so um, uh, then you have to be prepared that you probably will end up having to move twice, but that, that is an option that is available. In any event, uh, the sell before buy strategy we discussed represents the right approach and gives you far more and better options um, to uh, successfully make this move. It puts you into a much stronger negotiation position on the sale side. And, and it puts you into a much stronger negotiation position on the buy side. Now, it is important to have these uh, special terms, uh, these provisions written correctly into each uh, sales contract uh, on the sales side as well as on the buy side. This is for your maximum benefit. And we got to match the timing and we got to mitigate uh, the risk. And may I summarize? what we have accomplished with the right strategy by properly structuring your sell and buy move is number one we obtained the highest possible price uh, the highest possible sales price for your current home uh, number two we successfully increased your purchasing power and uh, therefore get you into the strongest negotiation position position increasing your chances um, to successfully get the best deal on your on buying your replacement home. Uh, number three, we maintain several options, including the option for you to keep your current home, uh, just in case we just could not find the ideal replacement home. And uh, number four, and this is a good one, uh, we successfully eliminated the need for you to move twice. Now think about it. How about that? for the tip of the day. Thanks for watching. Uh, share, like, and comment below. And until next time, aloha.